You have successfully breached the complex and locked your pursuers in the landing bay. However, it seems your fate credentials are not the only failed part of Blaine's plan. The key cards he supplied are not activating the elevators you were supposed to take to the lower levels. You are sure there is a cargo lift running somewhere on this floor, but without a map, you will need to try every door you find until you locate it. One thing is for sure though, it won't be long before reinforcements arrive from the main elevators to your right. So the mercenaries win if they move at least two mercenaries into the cargo lift. If so, each mercenary gains one victory point. Uh, the next player wins if they cripple at least three mercenaries. So we were told to uh, start the game with Elise, Captain Erika Lilinski, Ogun Hellcare, Wrath, and have uh, a decoder piece of equipment, which helps you reroll failed attempts at terminals, and a medipack, which obviously heals you. So Ogun currently has Ogun over here, who is our little dwarf tech guy. He's got our um, our decoder, and he's going to be his main purpose in this mission is going to be uh, hacking terminals. Um, Elise here, she's a psychic kind of vampire thing, floating around, sucking out blood, uh, so she can go through walls without line of sight and stuff. So she can basically absorb. Uh, people's life force. Uh, Delinsky's our point lady. She's basically just running around and shooting at everything. And Wrath here, he has our medikit and his main purpose is crowd control. He gets in with this bendy gold sword and uh, yeah, just eliminates people. Um, if I was playing this game against a Nexus player, then I would not have any clue about what's currently behind all these doors. But as I am playing this um, as uh, a solo play, I do actually know what is behind these doors, so it's a bit frustrating, but we will just play the role, uh, the game thematically. By this I mean I will doing, uh, I'll be reacting to what the heroes should be reacting to in my opinion. Uh, without further ado, um, is there anything else I need to tell you? Just to remind you, I guess, that Ogun, he can deploy um, shields and he can deploy guns. Um, I was playing the shields slightly wrong last time, and I was also playing the terminal access uh, wrong last time as well. Uh, to gain access to a terminal, you have to roll the, the amount of dice that, that you have in your tech skill, uh, but you need to get um, all the successes in one go when you're trying to hack to achieve the objective. Um, reducing door strength, that's slightly different. Uh, so if I was Ogun, I was trying to reduce this door strength, uh, I'd roll this many dice, because he has three, and then whatever the firewall strength is, uh, which is two, I'd roll two dice for the defense, and this would block that, and it would reduce that by one. So that would be down to one. However, if I was trying to do s some other thing, like lock, uh, deactivate a spawn point, then I would have um, I would have failed because I would need to get two successes in one roll. I don't think there's anything else I need to clear rules wise. Um, so we're going to begin the game with the mercenary phase. So straight out of the bat, we're going to get Wrath to run down here and attack this lady. Wrath has four dice when he comes to attack in close range. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can actually see the dice rolls. So he gets that, she has a defense of two, and she blocks nothing. So Wrath straight away kills this, uh, this guard. Wrath gets two experience points for that. Um, I'll quickly show you their experience tracker thing here. So uh, with their experience, once you get up to that top bit up there, every time this is, this is the tracker here, uh, so you keep moving up until you get the very top. Once you get to the top, you reset back to the bottom, and you get a token to, um, to trade in for skills. Skills for kills, baby. Uh, you also get experience for hacking terminals uh, successfully as well. So that was my move and my action for Wrath. Uh, the next thing is, can Elise attack this guy? So yeah, Elise can actually try to absorb this guy's health because Elise can attack from an adjacent space and doesn't need uh, line of sight. She has uh, three dice for her attack. Oh, that's nice. So two crit and a hollow. He has two defense, so two hollows, um, two crits go through, this guy's dead. So two experience for Elise, nice. Um, Elise can't move because uh, she didn't attack 
you always have to do a move, then an action. I think we're going to get Ogun going on next, so he is going to hack this terminal. Uh, Ogun has a tech value of three, so he rolls three dice for this. Oh, not great out of the gate. Um, do, 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 do I roll, do I use the decoder yet? The mercenary may re-roll one of their dice when accessing a terminal. Yes, let's just go for it. So I'm using uh, using the decoder. That's used. Um, although, it doesn't say discard, so I'm just going to keep this on him. Uh, so, defense, he's going to re-roll one of those. Okay, so a crit and a hollow, and the defense of the nexus. So it blocks out one of those, but this, um, this crit still goes through. So we're going to open this door. That door is now unlocked. Um, sorry, that should be set to two. Um, okay, so it's just down Dolinsky now. So Dolinsky is going to go one, two, three, four. She's going to wait in the door there. Just remind you, there are two doors just here. Okay, so Nexus phase, we draw a card. Uh, remove one damage counter from any minion that's not in the front of Mercenary. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, so this doesn't do anything. But uh, on this mission, we have uh, activation of two. So two of Mercenaries, sorry, two of our bad guys get to activate. So starting with this guy, he's going to go one, two, three, and he's going to try and shoot at Wrath. He'll be rolling uh, two attack dice. Move these doors out of the way for the purposes of this. Two hollows. And Wrath has a defense of three. Yep, blocks those. Um, and the other guy's going to run up behind. He's also going to take an attack at Wrath. Two hollows. Easily blocked. Right, and uh, now we reinforce, reinforce, sorry, so we get this. Oh, our reinforcement value is three plus the two we already have for this mission, so it's a five in total. Uh, that means we can get out two of uh, two security guards. So these guys pop up here, and a scientist comes up to find out what is going on. Let's get Wrath straight into this. One, two, three. So Wrath's on there, and Wrath is going to use Wrath's sword. Crit, two solids. Oh, she only gets one defense dice. Okay, so she's dead. Two experience points for Wrath for that. Oh, and Ogun should have got an experience point for uh, unlocking that door. Um, next, so Erica Dolinsky, she can target one of them. So let's get her attacking this guy here. She rolls four dice when she's using her ranged weapons. No cover, so they just get two defense dice. Okay, so they block two of those. They take one damage. Um, so one damage on there. And Delinsky gets an experience point for that. Okay, Ogun is going to move out here. He's then going to deploy one of his sentry guns there. Sentry gun can't activate this round, uh, but it will activate on the next round. Just purposes of... It's just there. Let's move that away. Um... Okay, so Elise, I don't think Elise can get anyone from here. No, she needs to get a bit closer. So, one, two. Okay, yep, yeah, so she do a pot shot to get him. Uh, so she's going to try and leech the life force out of this guy. Three dice. Oh, two crits and a regular. One crit and a regular, so it sucks one life force out of him. Choose mercenary all animals that can shoot it without moving will do so. Great. 
I've kind of already messed up here because this basically means um, Wrath is going to have quite a lot of attacks going on at the moment. Good job. He's got a medical pack. So a blank and a hit. Yep, no problem there. This guy's shooting. Ooh, a crit and a solid. So the solids are blocked, but that's one damage on Wrath. Next attack. Solid and a blank. Three solids. No issue there. And the final guy. Crit and a hollow. Uh, another damage through to Wrath, and that's before they've even started uh, their turns. So I've got an activation of two, um, and they will be attacking the person that they can without moving. So um, I did something last time, which was if the if the enemy is on a spawn point, they will move off the spawn point because it blocks other people coming in. So we're going to do this, which means they're going to not going to have a harder attack against him. But um, I'm playing this that they will always leave a spawn point to let more people in. So she's moving on to there. She'll be fighting. They only have one attack when they do melee. Uh, it's a hollow. Yep, easily blocked. And then this guy's going to move one, and they're going to shoot. So crit and a hollow. Crit and a hollow. Now for the reinforcements. Okay, so it's a reinforcement value of five. This is getting very crowded. One thing I did forget though, is that we have a sentry gun out. Now the sentry gun, um, it is gonna, it basically gets to attack anybody who appears in its line of sight. Uh, these guys are in its line of sight. Uh, so it's gonna shoot these guys because it can't do pot shots. So it doesn't have line of sight on this guy. It doesn't have line of sight on this guy. It's line of sight on him and him. Uh, it can't shoot through targets. and um, doesn't have line of sight on him, I don't think so. Uh, before we begin the mercenary's turn, this uh, yeah, this turret is going to attack. So it gets two dice. Got a blank and a solid. So against this person, yeah, that goes through, uh, killing this person. Now um, Ogun doesn't get any experience for stuff killed by his sentry guns, which is a shame. Um, so then it's going to attack against him. Okay, damage goes through. Now, uh, these guys reinforced at the end of um, or the end of the round. So, basically, when these guys moved off here, he should have been able to attack them. Um, then these guys appeared. So, I'm going to say he also has line of sight on him now. So, sorry, I just played this wrong from the offset. So, that's a good start. Um, cool. Blasts him out of out of the, uh, the side of the building. So now let's get to the mercenary phase. So the mercenaries. Wrath is in prime position there just to start carving people up. Um, now I could, I think at this point, I'm going to try to run for this door. Uh, to do that, I'm going to have to basically use Wrath's ability. Um, so he gets to do a close assault action. So he's going to do that. If you manage to kill this person, he then moves on to the next one, the next one, the next one, and he keeps going until he stops. I only get to do this once, so I hope I'm not going to waste it here. I don't know why I'm rolling two dice. He has four in total for his attack. So two crits and that. She rolls two, uh, one defense dice, which is a blank. So she's dead. He gets two experience points. And he moves on to the next. So he's going to attack this guy who has got one damage already. Okay, so three, they get two defense. Block two of those, one goes through. He's already got a damage, so he's dead. Another experience point for Wrath. He's now gonna attack this guy. 
four hits. There's no way they can defend against that. Um, so two are defended against the other. Sorry, the other two go through. Uh, he's dead. Two experience points for Wrath. Wrath then moves. He basically just keeps getting to do this as far as I'm aware until he uh, just runs out of. Um, that was a crit. Two defense dice. A solid and a hollow. Um, yep, he's dead. Another two experience points. Uh, so he's on 10 experience now. And then, sorry, and he's moving there and taking this guy out. Three. Three there. Two solid. So one damage goes through. He's already damaged. He is also dead. So. Well, that was uh, Wrath's special ability, everybody. So he's taken out everybody there. Um, which means everyone else needs to run up now. So, Elise, uh, sorry, um, Erica, three, four, five. She's going to go over there and she's going to open up this loot box and she finds uh, Electrified Ammunition. Discard this card before making Sheen attack. As long as at least one hit is rolled, the target may not act in the next Nexus phase. So she's going to take that. Um, next, Elise, speed of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, Ogun is going to... How do I just keep Ogun there and get him to hack some more doors or do I carry on? I think we're going to get him to run up as well. He's got a speed of four there. Players of bonus activation. Bonus activations happen at the very end of the game. Um, sorry, at the end of the round. Now, if you haven't actually got, um, if you haven't got any mercenaries out, you're supposed to use the reinforcement value on this card to bring people out. Um, but that's zero. I imagine I'll be using the plus two I get for this, this mission anyway. So um, we get a guard come out and they get to activate um, straight away as part of the, uh, the turn. So they are going to shoot at the person who is closest to them. So they're going to shoot at Wrath, who's also the most damaged. So that's one hit. Ah, oh, now Wrath is actually facing backwards, so he gets one less defense dice. But luckily, he defends against that. Of course, cool, so now we do reinforcements. Um, um, reinforcement value is zero on this, so we have a reinforcement value of two that we get anyway. So we're going to put this guy here because it stops Wrath from moving away. No, let's get let's get at least one, two, three, and Elise is going to open that door. Okay, so um, Elise has just opened this door here, and we have got a couple of scientists. There's a terminal there. We've got a door over here which has a strength value of two. There's a door here, but it's unlocked at the back there. Uh, and there's a little guy up here, a door here with a security value of one on that, strength of one. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to see um, about getting up there. But first, let us uh, activate Wrath. Ah, actually, no. We just activated this guy, so we can now activate the sentry gun. So sentry gun is going to attack this person here. Roll two dice. I'm just going to move this out of the way for the purpose of this. Uh, two of those. She gets two defense dice. Okay, one damage goes through. Okay, Ogun is now going to go next. Three, four. He's going to do a shot from there. So he rolls two dice. Because he has only got a... Uh... Oh no, he's got three dice for his attack, sorry. Three dice, um, and she blocks two of those, one goes through, she's dead, so she gets an extra, ex he gets an experience point there. Cool, Ogun's not doing too well on the old experience points at the moment. Um, next, we're gonna activate Erica Dolinsky, she's gonna run there, and she's gonna shoot this guy here. So that's three hits. He gets one defense, blocks one of those, two damage goes through, he is dead. Two experience points for Erkadonski. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to have Wrath stay there. 
and uh, attack. Four hits, two defended, but two go through, killing the security guard, and Wrath is on 13 experience. Woot woot. Um, before, before we continue, um, Wrath is going to discard the medipack to heal one health. So Wrath is back up to uh, nearly full health. Okay, so the next turn. Um, so we have any reinforcement value played this turn is applied to up to three reinforcement points separately to a maximum of cost four per reinforcement points. Um, okay, right. Okay, well, let's see how that works. Um, we have an activation of two. So this guy straight off the bat, one, two, three, four, five, running into Carnage there. This guy is going to go one, two, he's going to open that door. And that's the end of the activation there. We have a zero um, value for our reinforcements, but because of the surrounded card, we basically have to apply the reinforcement value of two, which is for the, the whole mission, on each of the spawn points. And we currently have um, these two spawn points down here. So um, it's a reinforcement value of two, so we'll be bringing in another person there. Once again, in a really awkward position there. Um, and we'll also be putting in this guy over here. Um, two points for this reinforcement point, two for two points for this reinforcement point. Uh, this guy, though, gets to shoot him. Uh, sorry, her, because they're in the line of sight. Uh, blocks one, one goes through. Okay, uh, I'm going to start off uh, clearing down this, this part of the board first before activating guys up here. So we're going to start off with Ogun. He's going to shoot at this guy down here. He's got three guys to do it in. Okay, he does it. Kills this guy. Two experience points for Ogun. Um... Next, the central turret is going to activate and try and shoot this person, which hopefully will free up Wrath to do a run. Two crits. Can't block those. Dead. So that's the sentry gun. Um, Wrath is now going to go one, two, three, four. Come straight at this poor, uh, poor scientist. Four hits, defends one of them, but three go through. It's two experience points for Wrath. Wrath has now leveled up. Wrath has got a skill point to spend. Okay, so um, we're gonna have Elise is gonna move. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Elise is then gonna use um, her ability to hopefully sap him of his, uh, his strength there. So. Rolls three dice. He has two defense. He got two hollows. We got uh, two solids and a crit. So uh, he's dead. Straight off the bat. Um, cool. Now uh, Erica Delinsky is going to uh, power up one, two, three, four, five. And she is going to use her, um, her tech skill, which isn't the best, but it's not terrible. Well, it's not great. She's rolling two defense dice, and she, sorry, two uh, hacking dice. She's going to try and unlock this door here as the strength of one. Helps if you could see uh, what we rolled there. So uh, we got we got a hollow and that. Let's put it over there. Uh, the defense dice. Crit and a block. So, yep, she doesn't manage to do it. The security is too good at this point. Cool, so uh, Wrath has got... Um, Wrath is, uh, has got Assault and Speed listed at the top of their card here, which means we basically have to find uh, the Speed uh, and the General and the Assault um, skill cards there. We shuffle them up now, um, just for purposes so you know I'm not just making this up as I go along. And I believe we draw three of these. And 
and she can spend, or he, Wrath can then spend um, thing on here. So uh, the options are we can have plus one to our shoot skill, so they'd be um, rolling three dice when they're shooting instead of just two. Jump when this mercenary is adjacent to an obstacle during its move roll and attack dice. On a hit, the mercenary can move over the obstacle as long as it has sufficient movement. So this will be handy. It basically makes them um, yeah be able to get over obstacles quicker, uh, get to the bad guys quicker. And then assault for each crit roll when making an assault roll. Take another attack die and add it to your roll. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Um, because, yeah, we could just keep going. But I think... I think out of all three of these, this, the... The jump thing's probably the best thing we can give to Wrath, so we're going to go for jump. Um, so, this card plays on the Mercenary User Terminal most recently, uh, which would have been Erika Dolinsky, so she suffers a three dice close assault attack. Um, we also don't have any, any bad guys on the board, so I'll be using this reinforcement value to place a minion on the board. So, first of all, the uh, terminal explodes. Uh, so, three there. Uh, Erica gets to roll three defense dice. Two blocks and a blank. So, Erica takes a damage. Bit of feedback there from that. Uh, now, we'll be reinforcing. We'll put it down there. And then we're going to move. No, he can attack. He's going to shoot from up there to try and get Wrath, to be fair, because he's not in line of sight of that sentry gun. Um, so he's going to attack two of these. So you got a blank and that. Sorry. Cool. Yep. Yeah, so that's fine. Then we bring out... Um, let me bring out this. So it's three, four, five... These two are going to get attacked by the sentry gun. We'll start with this guy. Two crits. Two hollows. They're dead. So uh, this this one blocks. Oh, he rolled two dice. It should have been one. So I'm going to re-roll that. Blocks one. One damage goes through. Okay, so we're going to start with the free action for the sentry turret. So sentry turret is going to try and blast that woman again. The uh, scientist, sorry. Box one, one goes through. Dead. Cool. Ogan is now going to move up here. One, two, three. And he is going to place another sentry gun just there. Because why wouldn't you? Put it there because I'm not sure whether he can actually get past it. Okay, um, next we're gonna have Erica, she's gonna move around here and she is actually long range. How, how, no, she couldn't shoot them from up there, so she's just gonna move around the corner and she's gonna try and use her tech skill, which, once again, like I say, it's a tech skill of two, so it's not great. She's trying to reduce this door strength by one. Locked at every turn. Wrath's coming out. One, two, three, four. And he is going to attempt to hack the terminal. So you got two crits. Two of those. Uh, so Wrath again gets some experience points for being able to hack that successfully, and they have reduced the value of this door to zero. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh. Just tossing all the furniture everywhere. Four. Um, and uh, do we get anything from... Um, right. I know that these don't contain anything of value because um, I'm the Nexus and not the Nexus player. Uh, so we're going to draw a loot card. Draw and shot. Discard this card before making a close assault attack to gain two extra attack dice. So Elise has an adrenaline shot that she puts straight into her spine choose mercenary all enemies that can shoot it without moving will do so um, 
No one actually has line of sight on a mercenary, and this isn't a mercenary, so I guess that doesn't do anything. Uh, right, cool, so these guys are going to run out. One, two, three, four. He's going to try and attack Oyun. However, this guy is going to get attacked before he gets a chance to do that. So, yeah, he did block that. Block that attack, and then he's attacking Ogun. Ogun get, is going to have cover of this thing, I guess. So, two of those. So, our Ogun has a defense of four. No problem there. Um, next, this guy's going to run up. He's going to also take an attack from turret. Blocks one, takes one. Then he's going to try and shoot Ogun. Yep, no problem there. Ogun blocks all of that. Uh, reinforcement points. Uh, so it's three at the moment. So we're going to get one. It doesn't really matter where I put these at the moment because they're going to get blasted wherever they go. So that's what we're going to... Let's do it this way around because if they survive, then they'll still be able to run. So uh, this guy's going to get attacked first from this gun and then this guy from this gun. So... Yep. Oh, should have been... Okay, let's say that was for this guy, because I should have only rolled one dice for this. So, this guy has survived the attack, and then the second attack against this person. Hollow, so it takes one damage. Cool, so first thing, mercenary turret's going to try and shoot this guy. Blocks one, one goes through, one damage on there. This guy's going to make a free attack on here. Blocked. Ogun is going to flee one, two, three, four. Um, he is then going to place down one of his shields. Elise is going to move over here, and Elise is going to open the door. Behind smoked glass walls, electronic machinery hums ominously as lights wink and flicker in complicated rhythm. It appears to be some kind of server hub for Verbal. You still don't know which way the cargo lift lies. Perhaps it could be located using the cluster of access terminals that stand at the room centre. So the terminals in this room have an additional option, access floor plan, complexity 1, which is what we need to do as part of the mission. Cool, so um, let's get Erika, Erika, one, two, three. She's gonna move down here and she's gonna attack um, this guy. Two defense, one goes through. Zoop, one experience points for Elise. Okay, next. Um, we get this one out, plays a bonus activation. So we get an extra activation at the end of this uh, go. So we are going to get this guy to move out. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna blast at the guy, open the door. Oh, nicely defended. Cool. Next, we're going to have this guy come down to one, two. And he can do a pot shot. So can he actually, does he have line of sight on? Don't think he's, I think maybe he's got line of sight on Wrath, but Wrath has, um, Wrath has got some cover there. So he'll get an additional defense dice, but he's going to try and do that. Yeah, so one goes through and hits Wrath. So that's two damage on Wrath at the moment. 
Uh, and then we're going to get this guy here is going to attack this sentry turret. Sentry turret has some defense, only one hit point. So he defends that, but this goes through, destroying the sentry turret. So we have four in total, a few more enemies. Okay, so the mercenary's turn. Um, we're gonna get at least to try and life drain this guy. At least gets to roll uh, three dice for this. He gets two defense, he defends one, but the other goes, at least um, drains out his life force, his essence, the guy just shrivels up. Two experience points for at least there. Um, we're gonna need to get Ogun over this way to start to get those terminals. So um, Arika's gonna blast away, but first we're gonna get Wrath to go in there. Um, one, two, three, four. He has to stop there. Wrath is gonna attack with his big golden sword. So some of those dice land on the camera. Two defense, you can't defend against that. You're dead. One experience point for Wrath. Wrath is just getting a lot of experience during this uh, during this game, I found. Cool. Um, so Ogun's gonna move in next. One, actually. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Erica is going to shoot at these guys. Shoot that person there. Two experience points for Erica Dolinsky. And then Ogun comes in. There's not much more he can really do at this point. Okay, next is turn now, so let's take a look. Um, no terminals may be used, discard at the start of the next. So no terminals are gonna be used in the next mercenary phase. Um, okay, so two activations, one, two, three. They're gonna go for five. Shoot at Erica there. Erica gets defense of three. So she block, yeah, block that. Um, then the other guy is going to come up. Um, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. Running straight into danger there. Uh, reinforcement value now is three. So so Elise is going to attack that person. Dead, two experience points for release for the two health that they destroyed. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Lisa's gonna attack this guy, although he has got cover, so we'll get an extra defense dice. But she's rolling four, so we'll see. So it's four hits, he gets an extra defense. Blocks two, two go through, he's dead. Erica gets another two experience points. Ogun's gonna come in. One, two, three, four. He is going to shoot at them. He's got a short range gun, I believe. Um, he's going to Let's see what Wrath's Rath, there. One, two, three, four, five. Wrath can't quite get there to blast them. So he's going to go and try and blast that guy. So that was a crit, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, he's dead. Two experience points for Ogun. Uh, and then Wrath's going to come in. One, two, three, four five 
And then Wrath is going to use his short range gun. One hit goes through. Another experience point for Wrath. And before I forget it, we also have the the um, sentry turret down the bottom. So we'll roll two dice for the sentry turret. He got a crit. One defense dice for the scientist. Okay, so the scientist down here. It's just got taken out. Get a bonus activation at the end of this. So we're going to be activating three people this round. Um, I'm focusing on these guys down here because they are better off at coping with, um, yeah, coping with people. So um, he's going to run. To, so he's running up there. He is also going one, two, three, four, five. And uh, this person here, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry. So that was the two activations there. Then the bonus activation for that person. And now we'll do the reinforcements which is five. Reinforcements are gonna go. Uh, we're gonna have to put one up here. And then down the bottom, we're having a soldier and a scientist where they can't, they can't quite be seen by the sentry gun. Okay, mercenary turn, um, and there is actually a door up here I forgot to put on the on the map here. It's got a strength of two there. Um, Ogun's going to come over to the terminal because he can use it now. Um, he's going to be using his sophisticated tech abilities. He gets a reroll one. So two there. Uh, and I'm trying to access the floor plans because that's what, um, what I'm supposed to be doing here. The complexity is one, so I just need to get one success. And I did. So I can get some experience point for that. And then we read this. So, disaster. The screen flickers as it displays a layout of the floor. And you groan as you realize the service elevator doesn't even stop at this level, but maybe it can still be reached. The lift shaft is very close to the wall of corridor 319. If you could somehow break through that wall, you could probably climb down the shaft on the other side. So now I have to show the mercenary players the map. Place the elevator shaft tile on the board, but tell the players they cannot move freely into it. Instead, the wall between the corridor and the elevator shaft must be destroyed like any other piece of scenery, and it will roll three dice in defense. Once it's destroyed, the mercenaries can enter the shaft. So, I will place that on the board now. So the elevator shaft is here. My guys are over there. I could have come all the way back to try to get there. Or I could go through this door and see if I can get around there, which is what I think I'll do. So, um, Elise is a bit exposed there, so she's going to be one, two, three, four, and then she's going to try and drain the blood out of this person who's already got one damage on them. Elise um, gets her damage back once she drains, so that's pretty handy. So she's rolling um, three attack dice, one defense dice. Guys, gone. So another experience point for Elise. Uh, Wrath's not gone yet, so Wrath's going to just move down here, and Wrath is going to do what Wrath does best, which is demolish. Okay, um, two damage goes through. He's dead. Wrath gets another two experience. Dolinsky's going to run around here. One, two, and Dolinsky's going to try and access the terminal to just get the. Uh, value this door down. Oh, nice! One go! So this door is now unlocked. Um, and she gets two experience points for that. Whoop whoop! Move double the number of activations this turn. Make double, sorry. So, um, four people can activate this round. Great. One, two, three, four, five. He is going to try and shoot. Um, he's going to try and shoot. Well, any of those guys is really prime. 
Um, let's go for a lease because the lease is closest. You can't see at the moment. I'm going to move these guys up first and then I'll do that so I can focus on the action there. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, this guy is going to try and blast Elise. He's like, what the hell is that though? One hits, Elise gets to roll three. No, sorry, two defense. Yep. And this guy is, he's got line of sight on. Oh, he can also shoot from there because he do pot shots. So he's going to do a pot shot against Elise as well because freaked out by what that thing is. Okay, cool. And then reinforcements. Uh, one plus the two, so we have three. Okay, so Ogun's going to come out and open the door because he's actually got most defense. So one, two, three, open this door and let's see what's behind it. Okay, so Ogun opened up the door and it revealed, um, yeah, it revealed this lady here, the scientist, and there's two loots, um, two loot crates as well. Uh, so that's the end of his go. Um, okay, so Elise is going to move this way, I guess, into cover, um, and use life drain on this guy. Sorry, it should have only been two dice I was using for that. Um, oh no, it is three dice, yep. Uh, he gets rolled two defense dice. He blocks two of those, um, and he already had one damage on him, I believe. How? I don't think he did. So that's one damage on him there. Um, and then Wrath is going to attack the other guy. Blocks one, takes three damage until uh, Wrath gets another XP. Oh, and at least got an XP for the damage that they dealt. Um, okay, so Dolinsky is going to shoot this guy here. All the dice, all the hits. One XP for that. That's all the uh, activations there. The sentry turret at the bomb cannot go, so it's now the Nexus turn. <laughs> Choose a mercy, all animals can fight it without moving, will do so. Um, cool, so who can actually fight that without moving? It's gotta be the mercenary in the front arc of the most minions. Uh, that's what that little symbol down there means, the next to the two. Um, so that has to be uh, Wrath over here. So this guy's trying to punch Wrath. He's trying to punch a guy with a massive sword. He only gets one dice to roll for this. So he gets a crit, well, you know, fair play. That's, um... And you know what? It goes through. That's um, an extra extra damage on Wrath. Okay, so Wrath has got three damage. Um, they can take one more damage before they then have to start taking, um, uh, losing dice when they're doing things. Okay, so now we have the activations. So we have uh, two activations in total. Uh, we're going to start off with this lady here. She's going to come around there and she's going to attack um, Ogun. Uh, she gets one dice. Misses. I'm not even going to roll a defense dice for that. That's fine. Um, and then this guy is going to try and onto. He's going to try and blast Ogun. Now he's attacking from behind, so Ogun only gets three defense dice here. Yep, so, oh, oof, that's two damage, right? I think that's how that works. Got two hits, so two damage. Not good for the dwarf guy. Uh, so reinforcement time. Zero, so it's two. So I'll bring out another person there. 
Right, we're going to use a least, uh, sorry, we use a Dolinsky special ability. One, two, three, four, five. She gets to do pew, pew, pew. Uh, shoot up to three times, resolve the shots one after another. So she's going to th shoot three people. Starting with this guy. He's dead. 2xb for Erica. She's on 13 in a minute. She can get a new skill. Uh, she's going to now try and shoot this person here. They're dead. Erica Dolinsky can now get an additional skill, but not until she has done this. So she's going to attack this guy here. Dead. Right, that was Erica's ability. She's done all that. We're now going to have um, Elise use her short range to hopefully uh, drain all the life force out of this guy, which will free Wrath up to move. So that's three of those. One's two go through. Yep, life drained. Two experience points for Elise. Uh, Wrath is going to use the movement one, two, well, they, they were there, they? one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, facing, facing this way. Um, oh, Ogun's not gone yet either, have they? So, Ogun would one, two, three, um, and they're going to uh, draw a loot card. Discard this card next time you level up to draw an additional skill card to choose from. Well, that'll be handy if he ever gets uh, enough skill to do that. So we'll choose uh, Erica's uh, skill now. So just we'll take three of these. One, two, three. So uh, we have aim shot increase one uh, hollow to that per shooting roll. That's handy. Overwatch shooting. As an action, this mercenary may go on Overwatch. Turn this card side as a reminder. One Overwatch mercenary interrupt the next player. So, um, yeah, you basically get a shoot there. That's handy. And then plus one to Assault. Assault is currently three. Um, I think that the aim shot is probably the most handy thing. So she has now got an aim shot, which turns a hollow into a hit. Uh, next is turn. So, um, remains play. Mercenary may take another mercenary turn. Then take two Nexus phases consecutively. Discard at the end of the second Nexus phase. Okay, so they get an extra go, but then, okay. So let's see what happens. So mercenaries get another go here. So first thing's gonna happen, Ogun's gonna move there and Ogun is gonna open this door up. So Ogun's opened that door and this is door B, so area B. Um, the room is a laboratory. It's a small one, but it's filled with quiet, whirring machinery and racks of glassware. None of you are scientists. You don't recognize the equipment or understand much of the notes written on the glowing wall panels, but some of the diagrams resemble human DNA, and one phrase, Egret's disease, is clear. Hmm, curiouser and curiouser. So we've just opened up this laboratory. Now the fun thing about the laboratory is we can go down here and through into this door, which will lead us to um, the cargo kind of lift thing there uh, but first we're going to fight through all these bad guys um wrath has got movement six so one two three four five six straight into there let's take out some maze and lab employees so uh that's one crit and a bunch of those no point really rolling guys but i just do it for the sake of it um kills off that person two experience points for wrath um Erica Dolinsky is, well actually let's move at least next, one, two, three, four, five. Um, Erica Dolinsky can... Yeah, we'll get Erica in, one, two, three, four, five. And she's taking a, sorry, you can't quite see what I just did there. Um, yeah, Erica's just moved down here and I'm taking this loot. Hopefully some kind of health. Yes, Medipack. So discard this during your turn. Um, so she's going to hopefully be able to give that to Wrath because Wrath has got a ton of damage on them. 
uh, the center turret down the bottom, if you have remembered that's even there, uh, that's not going to do anything. So I've activated this guy, uh, this person, and that person. So it's the um, Nexus now gets to have two concurrent phases. So Nexus, phase one. Choose mercenary ornaments that can fight it uh, without moving will do so. That's nobody. Um, I get two activations, so... Um, first of all, we're going to move this person up, sorry about that, uh, because they're on a spawn point, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, we're then going to move this guy, this guy can actually shoot from there, so they're going to do that, so they're going to pot shot at Wrath, yep, Wrath's fine. Um, so then it would be the reinforcement phase. So four, five, six. Uh, so and now it's the second nexus phase. Place bonus activation. So there'll be three activations this round. Um, so we'll start off with this guy shooting there. So a high and a regular. Yep, cool, so that's fine. Uh, then these guys are gonna move and shoot. So one, two, three, four. We'll be there as well. And they're both gonna shoot Elise. Elise is facing away from, well, Elise was that way, so. She was heading this way, so I'm not gonna have her penalized because that's just how I roll. So two dice here. Okay, blocked, and then the other guy's attacking. One goes through. So at least he's taken the first point of damage um, this turn. So at least he's on one there. Uh, Eric has got one, and Wrath has got three, and Hellcare, Logan Hellcare has also got uh, two there. Uh, so we then do the um, so that was our bonus activation was the, the third guy there. Uh, we then do our reinforcements, which is six again. So, now we've actually run out of um, guards to place after this one. So then we have to put down um, two scientists who will come down here. Okay, so um, Erica's gonna run up here. Four, five. She's gonna pass over the medipack to uh, to Wrath. That's the end of her go. Wrath uh, is gonna move over here, and he's gonna use his medipack to get rid of one of those damages. Ogun is going to do nothing just yet because we're going to have at least one, two, three, four, um, and she's going to drain the life out of this guy hopefully, which will give her her life back. So yeah, she drains um, Uh, yeah, so she kills that guy. Ah, oh, she can also heal people. Ah, oh, read the card at them. Uh, if any damage is caused, you may remove one point of damage from Elise or any other mercenary within short range. Um, so Elise is going to keep that damage. And she is going to target, um, she's going to target Ogun and take off a point of damage from him. Ogun's going to move up here. He is going to shoot from that space. Ogun hasn't got a very powerful weapon, but he'll do some damage. Oh, strike that. So uh, Ogun got um, Ogun got two crits. They got two hollows. They're dead. Ogun gets two experience points. Oh 
Okay, um, Aragon's there. Right, it's activation. So, um, first thing we'll do is, I did say I had to move people off of the points, but I'm going to have to move him in first. One, two, three, and he's going to shoot at Wrath. So there's a lot of things cluttered around here, so it's hard to actually show you what dice I get. So uh, Wrath takes a damage. Uh, next, this guy's going to activate. One, two, three. He's going to shoot at Wrath as well, because why wouldn't you? Two crits. Oh, this isn't looking too good for Wrath. Okay, one crit, so one damage goes through. Wrath is nearly um, nearly in trouble. Bonus activation, you can't activate the same person again, I believe. Um, so we're gonna get this guy, one, two, three, four, five, there. And then reinforcement of seven, uh, eight, nine. Okay, so everyone's coming out. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, I can't actually put anyone else on the board. I have no more miniatures left. Okay, we're gonna move Wrath to attack this guy, so he's gonna go down there. So he got um, all of this. Two of those blocks, two go through, he's dead. Wrath gets two experience points. Wrath is left there. So. Okay, Elise is going to, well, first of all, we'll get Erica to come in. One, two, three. She's gonna open this door. So opening that door, we can now put on the board um, just a couple of loot crates, which are here, here, got two loots there. Um, Elise is going to come in, one, two, three, hovering in, and she's going to attack this guy. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see the dice a bit better. Oh, blocked at every turn. Not good. Ogun, one, two, three, four. Ogun's going there. He is going to deploy his final uh, countermeasure, which is a shield. Um, but actually, he can't, because Elise is right next to him. Right, nearly at the bottom of the Nexus deck here. Activation, so three activations this round. Um, I've got to get these guys off the points. So he's going to move in here, and he's going to shoot. Um, I'm going to move him down here to shoot. One, two, three, four. They're gonna be my three activations this round. So this guy's gonna shoot at, I guess, Wrath, right? Um, so he's shooting at Wrath. Wrath has also defense against that. Blocked out, perfect. She's attacking um, Elise. That was a blank, so there's no point there. Um, and he was he could have moved there, so he's also going to attack um, Wrath because it makes thematic sense. Most injured, two hollows. Two hollows. Whew. Reinforcement is one. Uh, so it's three in total, which means we get one there and one there. Okay, so Elise is going to come down here. One, two, three. Um, and she's going to start attacking this wall. So she gets to roll four dice. Okay, so this one becomes one of those because that's her special ability now. So that's not too bad. 
And it says here that the wall rolls three def dice in defense. So it takes one damage. Okay, cool. So we're going to get Wrath to move. One, two, three, four, five. He's in here. He is now also going to be carving up this wall. So that was two hollows and a crit there. Sorry, somewhere you can actually see it. Two hollows and a crit, three defense dice. Hollow, yeah, all of them are defended by, by the wall. Tough wall. Okay, uh, right, we're gonna use Elisa's special ability and really hope that it works. She attacks everyone in short range. She can't give Wrath any health because Wrath is outside of that, unfortunately. Um, so, this person first. Okay, so two damage, she's dead. Two XP, which means Elisa just leveled up. Uh, and she's gonna take off one of um, Olgan's health damage he had. Uh, next, she's gonna attack this guy here. And he gets two defense dice. Oh, so he got that, he got this. So one goes through. Okay, and she gets to heal someone from short range, so she'll heal herself. Uh, she'll then life drain this guy here. Okay, so that's another damage. And Erica is in short range, she can heal herself as well. Um, who else is in short range of Elise? This guy. Okay, and one on him. Ogun is just going to move straight into here and try to punch his way out of this one. Didn't work out well for him this time. Uh, our two to reinforce and value until the alarm is turned off. So there's an alarm going on now. Whoop, whoop. So alarm, our reinforce value is now four. Um, so activation, these guys are going to have to go. So they're going to attack Ogun. Crit for one. Yeah, that gets through. So one damage on Ogun. Uh, the other guy is a crit. Wow, they are not very happy. Two crit defense, so yeah, he's fine there. Uh, and then reinforcement value. Um, okay, so we've just had this thing come out now. Uh, so enemies, this remains play, take must. The mercenaries are taking too long and it's no secret that they're here. Add one to activation values and two to reinforcement values. So currently we have six to our reinforcement values and three to our activation now. Um, so six here means we can get another guy in weight. Okay, so um, I should have actually, this should have been destroyed as soon as Erica had actually done one point of damage to it. So this wall should basically um, have been open. Um, I played that slightly wrong. I've also realized that when I'm doing loot, I should be rolling dice for it. Um, so apologies for that as well. But the wall's been destroyed. So shining the light into the ragged hole reveals the angular walls of the elevator shaft. Rungs of a maintenance ladder are sent, set into them, running down and disappearing to the dark depths. Beneath, the air in the shaft is cooler than it is outside. Cold is a grave in fact, and motes of dust dance eerily into the beams of your light. Okay, so I actually can win this right now because I can move this Erica on her turn into here and I can move 
wrath into there as well um, I will just play out this little encounter up here just to see where we're going with um, so we're gonna just see if Ogun can punch his way out of that um, so he rolls uh, two dice um, uh, this guy gets two dice defense so boom he's dead Ogun gets an XP uh, Elise should have actually skilled, had a new skill at this point. She is going to then life drain, two points of damage, he is dead, and Ogun uh, loses the damage that he had. Uh, she gains an experience points for that. Um, that's, I'm going to end it there. I think I've, I've achieved the objective here, which um, was to get these guys into the elevator shaft. Um, yeah, uh, the mercenaries win if they move at least two mercenaries in the cargo lift. Shining a light through the ragged hole you have made reveals the angular walls of the service elevator shaft. Rungs of a maintenance ladder are set into them, disappearing into the dark depths beneath you. As you watch motes of dust dance eerily in the beams of your light, you hear a voice. Somehow it is coming from your team's comlinks. Can you hear me? It says. This is Becht. I can see you on the security cameras. Don't worry, I've secured the feed. They'll only see what I want them to. But you need to move fast now, they know you're here. Hurry! There is no time for hesitation and clearly no going back. Your team shoulder their weapons and secure their gear as they prepare to climb down into the next level of the Delta Complex. So, that was Mission 1 of uh, Star Saga. You've, uh, you might have seen the other tutorial missions I've done. This time I was a little better prepared for what I was doing here. I had um, a bit more knowledge about how to play the game. I was playing loot wrong in this um, and I might have played some other elements of this wrong, but as far as I'm aware, I've done pretty much everything as I should have done. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these solo playthroughs, please let me know uh, in the comments below. Um, if you like die rolling, then please uh, follow us, uh, ding the bell for notifications. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Um, and yeah, this is I've been your host, Adam. I've had a fun time playing this. Uh, it didn't take me too long to play it. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what's, uh, what's next in the Delta Complex. <laughs>